Mars. The planet is named after the god of war, Mars. The names of its moons are translated from ancient Greek as horror and fear. During the Martian winter, almost 20% of the atmosphere on Mars is frozen. The northern hemisphere is sleek and plain, and the southern is cut with craters. Let's meet our closest neighbor, Mars. A Martian year is almost twice as long as on the Earth. That means that it takes Mars twice the time it takes the Earth to go around the Sun. Just like the Earth, Mars has a satellite. Actually, two of them. Two huge, gigantic stones. Every hundred years, one of them, Phobos, gets six feet closer to Mars and will eventually fall on the planet. Boom! The surface of Mars is covered with reddish dust. That's why it's called the Red Planet. It has volcanoes. The biggest one is called Olympus and is three times bigger than our Mount Everest. It is the biggest volcano in the entire solar system. To learn more about Mars, people have sent robots. These rovers take all kinds of samples and pictures of the planet. Perhaps someday, this distant red dot in the sky will become our new home. Jupiter Thanks to the huge size, Jupiter can be seen without a telescope. Jupiter makes strange noises, or so-called electromagnetic voices. Jupiter is 2.5 times more massive than all of the other planets in our solar system combined. Right in the sky shines Jupiter. It doesn't emit light of its own. Just like the moon, it only reflects the sunlight. Jupiter is the largest and the heaviest planet of the solar system. It has 67 satellites. The largest of them is even bigger than Mercury. You can't land on Jupiter because it's almost entirely made of gas. Every revolution around its axis takes only 10 hours. This crazy speed causes different atmospheric phenomena, such as hurricanes and storms. One of these hurricanes is the Big Red Spot. It is bigger than the Earth and has lasted for hundreds of years. That's Jupiter, bright and blustering. Saturn there is a gigantic cloud hexagon on the northern pole of Saturn. The biggest moon of Saturn is Titan. It's the only moon in the solar system that has atmosphere. The Saturn rings are mostly made of ice particles. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest planet in the solar system. It belongs to the so-called gas giants, which consist mainly of various gases and do not have a solid surface. If you could put Saturn into water, it would float to the surface because hydrogen and helium, which make up a large part of the planet, are lighter than water. Saturn is famous for its rings which consists of a large number of ice particles, ranging in size from specks of dust to a three-story house. To ride along one of the rings in a car, we would need a long journey over a year. At the same time, the rings are so thin that if we were on the equator of Saturn, we would not even notice them. Saturn, also known as Lord of the Rings, is the farthest planet that can be seen with the naked eye.
Uranus. Uranus spins on its side. Uranus is an extremely cold planet. Because of the tremendous planetary pressure of Uranus, there could possibly be trillions of large diamonds in or on the surface of this planet. For a long time, people thought there were only six planets because they are easy to see in the night sky. Uranus, the seventh planet from the sun, was discovered much later with a telescope and named after the Greek god of the sky, Zeus's grandfather. Unlike other planets, Uranus rotates on its side. Presumably, it got this tilt from a collision with a large body the size of Earth. Like Saturn, it has rings, but they are dark and do not reflect light. Together with its brother Neptune, Uranus forms a group of so-called ice giants. Because of their distance from the sun, light and heat that come to the surface are so scarce that even during the day there is twilight and it is terribly cold. Moon, Neptune. Neptune is the farthest planet from the Earth. In Neptune's atmosphere, there is a large white cloud that moves around rather quickly. The scooting of this cloud around the atmosphere has led it to be named Scooter. Neptune is a very windy place. After the discovery of Uranus, it took 60 years and a small area of its orbit to notice that there was an unknown object affecting its trajectory. This is the way Neptune, the eighth planet of the solar system, was first predicted and later discovered. A year on Neptune lasts for 168 Earth years. Since its discovery, only one year has passed on Neptune. Neptune is 30 times farther away from the Sun than our planet, so it is very cold there. Neptune's atmosphere is primarily composed of hydrogen, gradually turning into the liquid ocean and ice. This is followed by the red-hot mantle and core. The winds on Neptune are the strongest in the solar system. Their speed sometimes exceeds 2,100 kilometers per hour. Neptune is still unexplored and holds a lot of surprises for discoverers. Hubble. In 15 years of working in space, Hubble has taken over one million pictures. With Hubble's help, we've learned that most of the stars in our galaxy are forming planets. Hubble was launched in 1990 and has been working on its orbit for over 20 years. You have probably noticed that the stars don't shine as bright in the city as they do in the country. That's because the city lights are so bright, they outshine the distant light of the stars. That is why it is much better to put telescopes on mountains and far away from big cities. This way, you can see many more stars. But even then, some light gets lost in the atmosphere. That's why scientists decided to send a telescope to space. This telescope is called Hubble, and it helps us uncover wonders we never have dreamed of. Taking pictures of different parts of space, it discovered many interesting facts about our universe. Found new galaxies, saw nebulae, distant stars, and planets. Every day, Hubble sends 80 gigabytes of data to the Earth, where scientists study it. Which is colder? Mm-hmm. Which is closer to Earth? Mm-hmm. Which has got moons? 
Mm-hmm. Which is hotter? Mm-hmm. Which object weighs more? Mm-mm. Great! New mission available.